started, and there's at least what, it's 170 Ash at Wits, and they also played at uh, Wiz Ash Wednesdays way back when. LSD would come sometimes. If you remember that far back. Way back. Way back. <laughs> way, back. <laughs> way back. I'm talking to old school. Were you there for that? <coughs> for what? For old school. You started like a month before I did. Two months. Did I? Yeah. Three, yeah. I started in October 2015. Huh. Um, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. LSD is 3 and 41 on Chris. <laughs> Is that funny? Dad beat Ellis, or, uh, or, or, uh, oh, really, last week? Or two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, that's right. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah. What happened? Was he playing Wario? Yeah. Dad decided to try. No more Ice Tyson. Ice Tyson. Ice Tyson. Uh, his Ice Tyson isn't, isn't the best. Dead off the top? No. <laughs> so, uh, these two set count. Oh, Ice Tyson? Yeah, sorry, we just did an inside joke without explaining. Ice Tyson is white Donkey Kong with the boxer gloves. And Dad will come in sometimes to wit and goes, Hi, Dad. And, like, as he always does, and you're like, Hey, Dad, what's up? And he's like, No, no, no. He's like, What? He's like, I'm not Dad this week. And you're like, Who are you? And he sits down and plugs in. He's like, I'm Ice Tyson. <laughs> and he goes, Donkey Kong. And it's just, like, not a very good Donkey Kong. And he goes, like, Oh, and two. And well, then Lord he, like, knows he tries. Head or something and walks away, yeah. He tries. He puts his heart. Just like the real Ice Tice. <laughs> just like the real white. One of my favorite, one of my favorite <laughs> boxing. fights. Yeah, one of my favorite boxing matches ever is like remember, Ice uh, Tyson versus P versus Pacquiao <laughs> and Mayweather where they just all both came in the ring and tried to fight him. Uh, yeah. yeah. He just <laughs> both. Who would have thought a gorilla Muhammad, would put up such yeah, a fight? Muhammad Ali or something. And John <laughs> Cena just came out of nowhere. He's like, oh shit. Is that a monkey? Yeah. <laughs> the hell? Uh, I got some weird shit going on over here. Man, that morgue went so high. I thought the Undertaker throwing the guy off the, <laughs> the fucking hell in a cell was messed up. You guys literally have a monkey. <laughs> There's an ape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's an ape inside of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Metroid is up a stock. Ooh, that I, was I never even that looked was up neat. what their set count is. Okay, th I, that was just a really neat cross up near into into grab. What made it so neat? I don't know, man. He he got the he got the the hitbox of the near that like was on the back side of it. So like he didn't hit him going forward and then crossed up. Yep. He was on the other side of him when he got hit in the shield, and that locked him in long enough to throw off whatever his out of shield option was. It's very neat. You know, something about Metroid when I watch him, I can just clearly see like the solid fundamentals. Yeah. You know, like with a lot of uh, top level characters, I I know they have good fundamentals, but they're at the point where it doesn't show because they're like doing their thing. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like uh I don't know, like um like Sosa. Like, I, I know he has fantastic fundamentals, but he's doing his Wario thing, his spacing. Yeah. Whereas when I watch watch Metroid, it's like I can see the cross-ups, I can see the wave land just re-grabs, I see the baits, just clearly. That might be because Ike is such just like a... I mean, he feels like a very fundamental character with... Uh, like, he's got some, some very interesting tech skill with his side B, but like, it's also just, it's just jump cancel stuff. It's a, it's a variation on that. The way Ike has to function, just with like a lot of good normals, a lot of long range normals, yeah. but like nothing incredible on the shield, no crazy pressure. Yeah, no crazy tech skill. Just a lot of good spacing. There he goes. I asked uh, Metroid last year about how he like conceptualizes his, his neutral and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, I guess part of it is that my characters don't really require tech skills, so I never had to worry about that. I mean, it's like, yeah. Showtime. Ganon. Ganon doesn't, is in the same you boat. Somehow, you somehow find tech skill to worry about, though. Uh, yeah, but I'm just trying too hard. A lot of the shit I do just looks pretty and doesn't actually function. Yeah. A, good, a lot of the good Ganons, Junebug, uh, Kage. It's just good space. Yeah, just like fundamentals. Yeah. But I mean, crazy fundamentals. Yeah. That's what you're really, you're really outplaying the, the other person if you're like, Doing 
anything too crazy with, with, at the higher levels with Ganon. It's how you and I play friendlies, and we go like close, and then I play uh, what's that that one Ganon from out of state, or the best Ganon in Chicago or something, and he just beat me off like Chicago. spacing backers. No, he was here at the end game night. Oh wow. Uh, oh oh. Uh, Set up. Man, what is his name? Something turtle? Yeah, pseudo turtle. Pseudo -turtle. Pseudo -turtle. Pseudo -turtle. Yeah. He's a legend in the like he is the tech skill Ganon in the melee. He's the tech skill Ganon? Yes. Did you see that? That was crazy. He knew. That's crazy. No, oh. he just like back aired me. Yeah. A lot. That's it's it's pretty good. <laughs> and it's, it's like really his good. best move. It's like positive on shield and it auto cancels and the wave land out of it. You've seen it all before. They're cackling like hyenas and I didn't see what happened. I think because he got that nice meaty back air. Big Meaty claws. Those explosions. <laughs> oh man. So, MVZY took him here. Which I find interesting. This is. I would think this is a pretty good uh, Ike stage. Well, I mean, it's also good. I don't know. MVZY uh, really likes the stage because he went here when I. Um, <laughs> That was good. Yeah. That's he took good. me here for game three. <coughs> I was like, really? Oh, you took him to game, game three today, huh? Oh, yeah. Nice. I like that. That's what I like to see. If it were me, I already got two of them. That's what I like I, to see. I felt on. like I played better today than my results show. Who'd you play? Um, so I played Popcorn 2 0. Oh, wait. Popcorn, popcorn. Lucario? No, the uh, Zelda? Zelda. Isn't he yeah. also played Lucario? No. Yeah, All right. Um, I played popcorn. Then I played MZY. Took him to game three. Good, good stuff. Then um, I need to double. I definitely took him to game three. Hold on. What did you get today? Thirteen. Thirteen. Did we tie? I think we tied. Uh, I think we tied. Yeah, we tied. No, you you outplaced me. You got nine. Ow. What? Because you beat Moy. <laughs> Moy was supposed to get your place. And you were supposed to get boys place. Yeah, I took a game off MZY, then I went to, down to Losers, 2 0 Saber, and then had a heartbreaking last stock situation with interns, Wario. Oh. Yeah, Wario. Yeah. Is he. Is this real? I mean, I it's had real. to be, it had yeah, to be it's real. real. Uh, it's not bad. Okay. Is, uh, it, is he done with Sonic? Thank God. I don't know. He's just sort of messing around. I hope so. It, it kind of hurt because I. <laughs> I hope so. It kind of hurt because I beat him on Tuesday. At, uh, uh, at Near Mint? At Near Mint. Yeah. I, I beat his. Uh, I beat his Donkey Kong game one, and then he switched to Sonic. Took a game, but then I, I beat his Sonic. I've been considering going down to Near Mint, but it's so fucking far. Oh. Come hang out of my apartment. Big. Meaty. You'll get no sympathy from me. That would, that would actually, I forgot you're in the city and not here. I'm like, 50, I'm 13 minutes away by car. From here, so I just Uber. Oh, from, from here. No. From here, I'm like 10 minutes tops. No. DDD. Hey, why going DDD. Uh, this is actually <laughs> colloquially considered a positive matchup for. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can we make this a slumber party? I'll maybe consider that. I'll yeah. maybe consider that. I'll bring popcorn. This is my apartment. It's not my house. You I gotta, you gotta sleep out in the living room though with the cats. I love cats. I'm no, actually that's, deathly that's allergic. the danger zone because Griffin tries to yeah. sleep on people's faces. Right. Yeah, I'm definitely allergic to cats. Or if he switches characters, does my fan get the switch? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, it's character first. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, but they're in best of five, so I'm, okay. I, I feel it. Uh, game three, MZY going DDD. Okay, isn't it? <sighs> Pooch is always like, you know, DDD like beats all the swordmen. You know? I'm sorry. Isn't I that just... something he says? Wait, sorry, sorry, say that again. About... I missed exactly what you were saying. I was just trying to figure out if this was friendly or not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was really confused. No, MZY has a secondary DDD. Okay. Um, I've been going for a while. Uh, no, uh, doesn't Pooch always say that DDD beats all the swordsmen? Yes. Yeah. I believe him in that. Is Ike included? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I think he probably beats Ike 
the least of all the other swordsmen. I I would agree with that. Because I kind of works on little, little looks a little bit differently than all the other swords. That's what I was gonna say. Like Lucario, Marth matchup is six four Marth. Mm -hmm. Lucario Roy matchup is fifty five forty five Roy. And, and, and for, for you you think it's worse? For sixty forty. All right, Jack thinks it's sixty four. You Roy. No no no, I'm talking about Lucario. No, I'm I'm like paralleling how the swordmen like stack differently. Okay, then I Jack's saying I don't know. I think like for example, speaking off what you're saying with the different swordsmen, Mark Lucario 6'4, uh Roy Lucario is 55 45 Roy, and then Ike you start to get like even Lucario might win, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like it stacks because their attributes start to become different. Yeah. yeah. Well like DDD, I'm pretty sure he just doesn't he bop Roy? Uh, I want to say so. I know he. I know he gives a. I know he gives Mars the sloppy salami too. Well, I know that like I know. Uh, remember Blood? Blood used to just switch to Falcon right away. If he saw a DDD, he'd be like peace. Yeah, I feel. And like just that. switch right away. Well, yeah, cause Roy just fall. Like, he hates. He hates uh any heavies. Who? No, Jack. We're talking about DDD Roy. Jesus, Jack. <laughs> Just, uh... I know. I know. That's what we're saying. Oh, Yo. no! It was that's bound to happen eventually. Yeah. He kept swinging. Um, Pooch thinks that DDD is way better than people give him credit for. It. By people, he means Ripple. Ripple, yes. yes. If Ripple said it, Pooch disagrees. Um, so I guess the, the thing that makes Ike different than the rest of the story is probably just the... I mean, all the other sorties operate on really spacing and neutral. yeah, spacing and neutral with a very dash dance heavy movement, um, strong wave dash, like nice spacing, with, uh, wave dashing and, and, and dash dancing. But I just has really good normals and incredible range with long lasting, like long lasting hitboxes. It lasts at least longer than all the other. Oh, Mike's trying to cheese him. Trying to get him to suck. Let, put him in a position where that, that's the optimal thing to do. I was sitting around with uh, with Cody last week and like Cody and Drug Pichu. And Drug Pichu was playing DDD or something, or Kirby. And there's a pause, and Cody just says in the straightest voice possible, he's like, you could have sucked him there. And Drug Pichu's like, yeah, I know. I just didn't. And I was like, wait, what? I was like, what are you saying? He's like, you could have sucked him. I was like, how do you say that with such a straight face? He's like, that's what it is. You could have sucked it. Two C's or, or is just a C? I don't know. It was just <laughs> Cody just talked too fast. Like, could have sucked him there. Sucked him. I do it, Wow. Oh my god. MZY is bringing this all the way back. So, uh. What's gonna happen? I don't know, man. I don't know. Keep charging the hammer! <laughs> Or tilt and knock him way far away. Charge the hammer. Woo! Yeah. Second hit <coughs> off the top. Second hit up air is the crazy one. That's the that's the one that kills. Yeah. It's the murder it's face. A rocket. Yeah. Hey Jack, when the screen cuts to black here, does it do that for the the stream too? Okay, I just need to ask because while we have downtime, I need to prove my point that I've said like the last four weeks in a row on commentary. The true mark of a commentator. This was a test chain is when that screen cuts to black, you hesitated, but you didn't go, oh, Jack. Jack and I talked Jack and I talked about this last week. We were talking about how commentators, they always sit here, and whenever the screen or the stream cuts out or audio cuts out, they go, oh, the, the stream stopped. The stream stopped. <laughs> Jack, the stream stopped. And by the time they finish the sentence, 